Hey guys, so today we have a little different of a video. I uh, forgot that I didn't have any videos ready for Diet Tuesday. So what I'm going to do is, I will show you here. I've got a whole bunch of new um, different types of like chocolate chips or baking chips. We have some Funfetti vanilla cake flavored. We have sea salt caramel. I have a pumpkin spice truffle or like, um, yeah, baking truffles. This will focus is what they call them. And then I also have some espresso chips. And so what I am going to do is make a huge mess probably, but I have all of the ingredients out here and I will probably time lapse some of it. Um, I will show you uh, in the, in the, description below of what I used and um, I'm pretty much going to follow the back of the package. Um, I may make a couple changes but I'll let you know down below um, what I end up doing. So well, let's get started. Actually let me make a less mess and then we'll get started. I need a little bit of room to work. While we wait for those, we are going to move on to sea salt caramel. Come on, focus. 
there we go the filled sea salt caramels and this recipe on the back which i'll do some close-up shots to these recipes and i'll put them down below um i don't know if you can see that but it calls for three cups of chopped mini pretzels i didn't know that and so we're not going to do that instead we're going to substitute with um some oatmeal so what i will do is i will see how much at the time like i'm gonna add the flour and then i'll do however much of the oatmeal I feel like it needs to uh, bind it up and make it right for this. So we're gonna start with two sticks of butter. So I was able to make some of the caramel ones and the pumpkin ones on the same tray. And someone gets to taste test. You can try these first. These are, I'm gonna call it double chocolate mocha espresso cookies. Okay. Get an espresso cookie. You know these? Yes. Try cookie. No like the espresso cookie? No. It's like eating raw espresso beans. I mean that's crazy because there's like two Very just bitter. set it on the counter. Two and Very a half bitter. cups of sugar in that sucker. Very bitter. Okay, now on these, those are the more crispy ones. <clears throat> Underneath, if you want a not as crispy one, you can have that. That's pumpkin spice latte is what I'm what I'm calling it. Almost gingerbread -y. Well, there's a little nutmeg, a little cinnamon, and actual pumpkin in it. And then those little pumpkin spice truffles. Mm. <laughs> Did you get a truffle? No. When you said pumpkin. Oh, yeah, they're pumpkins, like pumpkin spice latte. No, you said there was actual pumpkin in mm -hmm. it. Yeah. What did you approve? What did you approve of? Mm hmm. Okay. Now, these are still hot. But. hot that is a sea salt caramel oatmeal truffle cookie that's still very hot these are good those are good mm -hmm. like well i mean they have any different do those truffles taste any different like when you eat it when you get a truffle piece because mm -hmm. i'll show on here it reminds me of pot bellies cookies. They like they are have caramel on the inside because it's like oozing out. That's a good thing. Mm -hmm. So they were supposed to have pretzel chunks in them, but I didn't have pretzels, so that's why I used oatmeal. Mm -hmm. I thought that was a better idea anyway. It tastes like um, pot bellies chocolate oatmeal cookies. Oh, they're pretty good. So the only one that he didn't get to try because he's going to bed. I'll try to get him to try it before I post the video. Is the Funfetti Vanilla Cake Morsels. 
So, um, I'll try to get you to try those before I post this. <clears throat> yeah, the last two were good. I don't like the espresso ones. Those are not so good. Espresso. X. Espresso. 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 Mm -hmm. No, the pumpkin and the pumpkin ones are pretty good. The pumpkin ones smell good. Mm -hmm. I mean, it smelled like pumpkin pie when I was making it. Mm -hmm. So, good. I mean, two out of three ain't bad. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can go to bed now. Thank Bye. you. To me, if you're gonna make funfetti cookies, that needs sprinkles. So, come with me. Come with me. Come with me. Which sprinkles should we use? Haha. <laughs> Let's see. We have. These come on, we'll do. Oh. Let's do some Christmas, we'll do some non Perel Christmas action. We'll keep it simple. Papa dog, Papa dog. As you can see, I've started to decorate for Christmas a little bit. Got our stockings up. House is a mess, but that's okay. I think we made enough cookies. Here are those Funfetti ones. I'll get them to try. I think sprinkles, Christmas sprinkles were the best idea. Because you can't even tell that these are Funfetti. They just look like white chocolate chips. Um, they smell like absolute pure sugar. Chocolate, chocolate, he didn't care for these. Um, I can see that being bitter with, I mean, when I smelled the, the, the chips themselves, it was like super strong cold brew coffee or espresso, like a, a shot of espresso. Funfetti cookies with the addition of sprinkles. The, this one kind of got burnt. But the sea salt caramel truffles subbed oatmeal instead of pretzels. And then the kind of cakey pumpkin spice cookies. I don't know how this video is going to turn out. Um, I hope you like it. I do a lot of baking, so I don't know if you wanted to see another bake with me, cook with me, uh, something like that. Let me know. Um, and also sorry this is late because obviously it is 10.30 and I will not be getting this up for Try It Tuesday but it'll be a special edition on Wednesday for you. Um, thank you guys so much for 2,000 subscribers. We appreciate that so much. Uh, feel free to like this video. Comment down below if you have any questions. I'll try to list all of the ingredients and the recipes uh, down below and uh, we'll see you next week. Bye. All right, got him to try the last cookie. It's in it. Funfetti chips and sprinkles because I had to add sprinkles. It's like cake, vanilla cake.